Hey everybody, it's Chris Choi with One Rate Mortgage. So today's question from Facebook comes here. It says, what should be my target down payment and closing cost on a $300,000 house? I need a savings goal. Well, I think that's a great goal to have, trying to you know get started and be proactive about it. So for a $300,000 home, I think you know what this individual is asking is, what is the minimum savings required in order to buy a house? I think that's the overall question. So for a conventional loan, typically it's going to be about 3% down for this $300,000 home. And then in addition to that, it's going to be the closing cost. Now, closing costs are going to range anywhere from two to 4% of the purchase price, depending on the taxes for the county and the state. And now going back onto the down payment, if you can't qualify for a conventional loan, typically that means that either your DTI, your debt to income ratio is too high, or your credit score is a little too low, or there might be some little, you know, um, some bad things that actually happen on your credit report. You know, it might maybe some mispayments or something that's like that, then you might be interested in looking at an FHA. An FHA, the uh, the lower down payment, the minimum down payment required is going to be three and a half percent compared to the 3% for a conventional loan. Conventional loan, typically you wanna be a credit score of right around 680 or above. Obviously you can get lower down to the 620s, but um, the rate's gonna be hit really heavily. And that's where you wanna start considering an FHA territory, which can go all the way down to about a 580. And then the DTI allowables are a little bit higher compared to a conventional loan. Now, one of the caveats between a conventional and an FHA is conventional, the PMI, the private mortgage insurance, is going to be a little bit less typically than an FHA. The FHA, the um, the PMI is going to be a little bit higher. In addition to that, there is going to be what's called a upfront um, private mortgage insurance that you have to pay. So keep that in mind when you are looking and shopping between the two types of products out there. Now, one last thing is there is a VA loan, obviously, if you are a VA veteran where you know you only have to come zero out of pocket and you just have to pay for the closing cost. There is a VA funding fee for first time home buyers, which is 2.3% of the loan amount, but that can be financed into it. So you don't have to come out of pocket for that as well. But you know, overall, the main thing is, is your credit okay? Do you qualify for any of these products? You got to make sure that your DTI is in range. Now, one last thing is with all this said, you know, you do have to come out for the down payment, but for your closing costs, what you can do, and we're seeing this a lot more these days, is you can negotiate with the seller, you know, speak to your realtor, but you can negotiate with your seller, with the seller and get seller concession or seller credit. Depending on the product, there are ranges and maxes for these, but depending on the product and the loan amount, you can negotiate for a seller credit and sometimes have it be paid uh, the, the have the seller pay the entire closing cost for you. So for example, we just had a recent client and I mean, th these are rare occasions, okay? It doesn't happen all the time, but it's a great example of being able to negotiate well. The, list, the realtor on the buying side, negotiating with the listing agent and the seller. And what happened to our client was they were able to buy the home. They were a VA, buy the home 0% out of pocket. So zero down payment. And then that they negotiated with them over 5% in seller concession. And what they were able to do was they had they were able to use that seller concession to pay for the entirety of the closing cost, plus pay for some of the debt that they had uh, in, their, in their credit. And so what they were able to do is buy a house, zero out of pocket, have the seller pay for the closing cost, pay for their credit card debt that they had and they just went into settlement signed and picked up the keys and came zero out of pocket i mean it's an incredible story and an incredible opportunity for a lot of buyers these days because the sellers are motivated to sell their home if they are you know in that position to do so so you know speak to your realtor talk to your lender and to see what you qualify for what is the best option for you what they should be doing is an analysis for you to present whatever options are out there to show you like, okay, these are the options that's available and what uh, best fits your financial scenario and your situation. I hope that was helpful. If it was, please comment below. If there is a scenario that you might be interested in that you want me to take a look at or you want me to assess or review your loan estimates for you and just give you guidance on what to be on the lookout for, feel free to email me at chris at or you can text me at 240 
uh, 262-1663. All right. Hope you have a great and blessed day.